Welcome to Water Level. Lake Mead, the largest reservoir in the United States, continues to be a point of close attention as water users, policymakers, and communities track its daily level changes. Today, there is good news coming out of Lake Mead. The latest reading shows the reservoir at 1,057.52 feet above mean sea level recorded on Thursday, October 2, 2025, at 1 p.m. This marks a small but positive gain, with water levels rising 0.12 feet since yesterday. While that might sound like a tiny change, in a system of this size, even fractions of a foot can represent millions of gallons of water, and the direction of movement is what matters most. For months, observers have been anxiously following whether the reservoir could sustain itself or face further declines, and this increase gives reason for optimism. The full pool of Lake Mead sits at 1,229 feet, meaning today's level is 171.48 feet below capacity. Although the reservoir is far from being full, the recent upward movement signals that inflows, water management decisions, and conservation measures are having a tangible effect. For a system that serves as the lifeline for millions of people across Nevada, Arizona, California, and even into Mexico, every inch of improvement matters. When we compare 2025's performance with past years, the trend becomes clearer. Looking at the graph, the blue line representing 2025 shows that Lake Mead began the year above 1,065 feet, dipped during the hotter summer months, and has now begun to stabilize in the early fall. Unlike in 2022, when levels dropped alarmingly low into the 1,040s, this year's levels are holding stronger. Compared with 2023, when the purple line shows a dip through the summer followed by a modest recovery, 2025 is showing slightly steadier numbers. This indicates that the lake may be entering a more stable pattern, at least in the short term. What's most encouraging is the fact that Lake Mead's current level is sitting above its position in 2022. Back then, the orange line shows that the reservoir fell well below today's readings, causing concerns about future power generation and water delivery capacity. Seeing the lake recover above those lows is an important reminder that conditions are not fixed and that careful management can lead to measurable improvement. Lake Mead doesn't operate in isolation. It is directly tied to Lake Powell upstream. The Powell data shows its current level at 3,544.63 feet, which is down more than 30 feet compared to a year ago. However, the combined management of these two reservoirs is what determines the health of the entire Colorado River system. Lake Powell acts as the main storage reservoir, and releases from Powell directly impact Mead's water level. While Powell is lower, the fact that Mead is showing increases suggests that release strategies have been adjusted to balance demands between the two critical reservoirs. Another key factor in Lake Mead's stability this year has been the controlled outflow from Hoover Dam. Hoover Dam is not only a hydroelectric powerhouse, but also the regulator of downstream deliveries to Arizona, California, and Mexico. Adjustments in the timing and volume of these releases can allow Lake Mead to capture modest gains, especially when inflows from upstream are favorable. The 0.12-foot increase, while modest, indicates that inflows slightly outpaced outflows over the past 24 hours. When we take a broader view, the last five years paint a story of fluctuation, but also resilience. The red line for 2020 shows much higher levels, close to 1,090 feet, but steady declines through the following years highlighted the challenges. Yet, the lake has not collapsed, and the trend for 2025 suggests that recovery, if even gradual, is possible. It is this resilience that gives local communities, farmers, and water managers hope that the system can be sustained. The good news for today is not just about numbers on a chart, it's about what those numbers represent. A rise in Lake Mead's water level means continued capacity for hydroelectric power generation at Hoover Dam, which supplies electricity to millions of homes and businesses. It also ensures that water deliveries to farms, cities, and tribal communities can continue without severe additional restrictions. These practical outcomes are why a small gain matters so much. Looking ahead, the fall and winter months will be crucial for Lake Mead. This is the period when inflows can stabilize after the heavy demands of summer irrigation and high temperatures. If the lake can maintain or even slightly increase its levels going into early 2026, it will set up the system for a much stronger year.
water managers will continue balancing releases from Lake Powell, hydropower demands, and downstream deliveries, but today's numbers suggest their strategy is working in favor of Mead. Observers should also pay attention to how Lake Mead responds over the next few weeks. Will this upward trend continue? Will we see the lake push above 1,060 feet again? These are the milestones that will determine whether the system is improving in a meaningful way or simply holding steady. For now, the rise of 0.12 feet since yesterday is a clear sign of improvement. This improvement story also helps build public confidence. Over the past several years, headlines have been dominated by warnings of Deadpool levels and critical shortages. While those concerns are not gone, today's increase offers a counter-narrative, one of cautious optimism. People living around the lake and depending on its resources can see that the system is not on a one-way path downward. With steady monitoring, strong management, and cooperation, positive shifts are possible. To sum up, Lake Mead's water level has ticked upward to 1,057.52 feet, climbing slightly above its previous day's reading. Compared to 2022 and 2023, this year's performance looks better, and that stability is an encouraging sign. The combination of upstream releases, controlled outflows, and ongoing management decisions are giving the reservoir breathing room. While it remains far below full capacity, the rise is meaningful, and it signals hope for the future of water security across the Southwest. And so, the story of Lake Mead today is not one of decline, but of cautious recovery. This is good news worth highlighting. Every foot, every inch matters for the millions who depend on this reservoir. We'll continue watching closely, but for now, Lake Mead has taken a step upward, and that's a win for everyone who relies on its waters. So while Lake Mead is still a long way from being full, the important takeaway today is that the reservoir is moving in the right direction. Every foot, every inch makes a difference when millions of people depend on this water source. We'll keep tracking the numbers closely and bring you updates as they come in. If you found this analysis helpful, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to stay updated on Lake Mead and Lake Powell. Thanks for watching.